Hello and welcome back to another episode. We have a very interesting take on a, I guess we'll call it a classic scenario, um, but really there needs to be some discussion to even start with to truly appreciate where this scenario comes from. Um, I usually do uh, follows or whatever at the end, but uh, I, I, I like this name too much. So, Avant Guardian 76. Stick to me like glue and keep your eyes open. Thank you for the follow. So, uh, today we are playing a scenario by Critical Hit that technically has two names. And in those two names is also basically. I don't want to say a ripoff because that seem, sounds a little too mean or negative towards critical hit. However, um, there is a reality, a kernel of truth within that. So to speak of this scenario we are going to play and uh, eventually we'll be able to compare and contrast versus the official releases, um, Noi siamo italiani di Garibaldi uh, or um, Italian Brothers in Arms is the critical hit version of Italian Brothers in Arms. Um, now, Italian or Italian Brothers, excuse me, that's the name of the original scenario. Um, I'm pretty sure that the first one was released at with at the point seven. I could be wrong. It could be um, uh, ASL Open ninety five. No, it is at the point seven. Cool. So at the point number seven releases this uh, scenario in 1991. Um, I believe I now have to check route reports. Uh, is that this one? Damn it. This is what happens when you get too many snares that are literally the same. Um, <clears throat> so route reports. Route report one. Okay, so Apologies for the confusion here. Route Report 1 comes out in 1990, December. Releases a scenario called Italian Brothers. This gets subsequently picked up by At The Point Number 7, which re-releases it in September 1991. Then both these scenarios kind of, I guess, go in a cooldown phase. Nobody really... Um, they get revised later on because they're seen as good or competent, however you want to really treat it. Um, and in these scenarios, they typically have uh, 12, defend uh, 12 attacking squads, 18 defending squads, which seems a little crazy. Um, the attackers, or wow, no, this really does swap sides for some reason. So this is why it's uh, even more confusing and why it's annoying because sometimes Critical Hit will take a scenario and just change it slightly. Hey Amagi, hope you're doing well. Um, just explaining the, the scenario here. So uh, Critical Hit will sometimes just change a side saying one's now the attacker versus um, the quote unquote official record. So for example, um, in this scenario, the CTV the Italian, um, uh, why can I not think of their name? The volunteers, essentially. Um, they're marked as the defenders, even though in uh, Critical Hits version, they're marked as the attackers. So this is why there's a little bit of confusion here. So in the official version, the... Um, the nationalist side gets vehicles, they get more squads, and in the revision, um, the Republicans get a couple more, etc. It kind of just bounces back and forth that way. Um, the scenario is eventually re-released uh, as part of... Uh, what number is this? Uh, module 11 as scenario 137 again it's kind of taking all of the uh, lessons from it um, and and building up a, a final definitive version now again 
Um, Critical Hit has a history of uh, essentially taking work. I don't know if they if they paid for it or not. Frankly, it's not really the something that's you know something to get too uh, bunched up in a knot about. But they do they have taken uh, prior work either because the scenario designer sold the concept or or gave their their um, authorization for Critical Hit to reprint them, and that's what we have essentially. We have two scenarios that are very similar come from one specific origin and have uh, divergent points so for example in this scenario the uh, nationalists have to grab um, there's a building here there's a building down here uh, x2 and y6 so essentially these whoops these four spots um, in uh, also, they copy map 17. It's the exact same map. They just changed the bottom one from 42 or from 6 to 42. Um, in the original scenario, the defenders essentially have like giant stone buildings that they have to defend at the back end, which changes a lot of the scenario. And because of the uh, scenario's requirements, essentially grabbing four buildings that are on one map. Uh, they all come in on the northern section of map 17, which means that map 17 is essentially useless. You could go around with your vehicles and come in through here, I guess. But, you know, you're kind of spending time to do that. Is it worthwhile? I don't know. I'm not going to do that. And ultimately, um, <laughs> this will... Uh, I'm just, just going to try and play this as, as quickly as I can. Um, to get it over with and so that you know eventually uh, when we see the official version it will be uh, a more visible or direct comparison in fact I might play the official version on Saturday come to think of it so um, without you know dilly dallying too much more uh, we're just gonna go into this scenario again uh, also because I I'm tired of having to use custom counters all the time. I'm just going to use some Japanese counters because they have 448s and 447s. Um, they are not going to stripe, uh, so don't worry about this too much. Um, I just I can't break them, but don't worry. It'll I'll have a, a way to do it, so it's not uh, it's not the end of the world. Same thing. Like there's um, the French MMGs and LMGs work perfectly for for what critical hit is trying to get at so we'll just use those um there's a squad of uh, dynamite dudes but frankly i might not even bother using them so uh straight into turn one we have a roll of nine changes nothing move that a little bit over uh there is no rally phase actions there's nothing i want to do for the other side no prep because there's nobody on the map and then straight into moving phase so all of these um these vehicles also i should probably put the sniper sand counters on I believe that's nationalist no. cool and we'll put them there again there's literally no point for me to try and focus on these guys um I need I need a set of four buildings and um, more specifically the rule states that um, oh V1 is one of them so V1 X2 Y6 DD4 and, and DD6 um, and more specifically you need to control V1 this building and two of the others so you know there's gonna be a focus here but that's about it um, so yeah, again, uh, I'm probably just going to push, come down through here, and then push up. Um, and let's make sure that I have the sniper counter ready. There's nowhere else for me to put it. Let's do the first, damn it. There we go.
Now, I'm sure that some people will uh, be curious as to why I would bother setting up with um, with essentially nobody on the northern side. Again, I don't really feel like it's valuable at all to have units be so separated, especially if one of them breaks. Uh, I have to run through a bunch of grain to get anywhere. And considering I would have to go to um, the shortest in terms of movement factors, uh, if I'm not moving towards the enemy, uh, either by at J2 or J7, I might have to go to O6, which really separates me. So it's just kind of, these guys are going to abandon the foxhole. Um, same thing with this stack, the mortar, mortar and MMG. Their entire goal is literally just uh, go through U1, U2, into the building, and then, you know, split off from there. So maybe have the mortar go into uh, L0, uh, V0, just to kind of see down here, but that's about it. Um, but the, also, another thing I should mention, uh, this pond, uh, I actually don't know if, um, if I can do it that way it might actually be worthwhile to try let's see if this breaks anything um essentially the water level doesn't exist so ponds are dry if i do this hey that works sweet uh essentially this is depression that's about it it's the only change that, that the designers do uh, this is still technically a water obstacle, but again, there's no point to go up there, so I'm not going to. Um, yeah, cool. Uh, so, as mentioned, um, movement phase. None of my vehicles have radios, so they're all going to come in as a platoon. They're all going to move uh, sort of this way for one. Actually, uh... Oh, there's something about it because it's a armored car and armored cars do not move the same way in open ground open ground in armored car is three so I have to be cognizant of that they're already in motion as well something to, to make note of so they uh, they spent three uh, they will go down one actually uh, he has to You know what, I can, yeah, I can idle, so uh, it's four to get here. These guys will continue, uh, and then he'll get on board. So this will be four, that was three, four, so eight total. Uh, it's vineyards, and vineyards are a lot for vehicles. Now, do I need to bog check? 12.7. I don't even think I need to bog check. That was dangerous. Um, so the idea is that vineyards will cost me extra move rather than open ground, but I need to spend extra movement in open ground anyways. So why not just have the vehicles go through there? Also being inherent and a bog hex. Now, do I want to risk bogging? Probably not. So we're gonna have oops, we're gonna have these guys turn. Uh, that will be another uh, so that's nine, ten, and then thirteen total. Um, so they're going to try and essentially just go around here, uh, uh, bypass in what's a GG4, I think, uh, and then come up the backside. Um, there's not much of a point for anybody to take shots at right now, so, um, and also because I wanted to avoid clutter, this looks like this. Uh, let's take the movement off so I'm not confusing myself. All right, perfect. 
Um, should also mention uh, vineyards act like brush. And the important part is that it's offering hindrance. So, so for example, uh, I'm going to have this squad go in for one. They're a 447. They're going to shoot. Might as well. It's a two down two. They'll cower. So they'll cower to one. Um, but it's still a five on one. So pin task check for them. Uh, they will pass, barely. Uh, and they cowered so they will not leave any residual. Which is kind of really bad. Uh, two, three. Uh, what's this? One, two, three, four. Because I won't even leave any residual. Uh, squad in H1 will take a shot. Should also be a two down two. Uh, they don't cower. And a three on two, one morale check. Okay. Half squad broken. Uh, I don't really care to ELR this scenario, to be honest. But I'm going to, anyways, because, god damn it. One firepower. I didn't even check line of sight, but come on. Yeah, that's good. Cool. One, two, three, and then they have to stop. One, two, three, and then I will stop. Yeah, cool. Uh, over here... I'm just going to CX them. I don't think I can get anything bad happening to them. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, technically, I could have just had them in the same hex, but whatever. One, two, three, oops, oops, three, four, five, six, seven. Take that off. Uh, man, that's true. Does anybody have any line of sight on that? Probably not. Yeah, okay, so, uh, they're gonna declare CX. One, two, three, four. Five, six. They'll take a subsequent. Uh, as a two firepower flat, they'll cower, so that's nothing now. Um, these guys will take a four uh, up one. Uh, nope, just barely. Uh, and it is a one residual. Don't think I have anybody substantial that can shoot there. These guys, one, two, three, four, five, and stop there. I might as well have. Yeah, this entire stack is going to shoot at them. Uh, we're looking at. A flat, uh, ten flat. Oof. Uh, three on ten. It's gonna be a K three. So random selection, no doubles. Uh, sand, no sand. And then morale check, morale check. Okay, now it's my turn to just roll doubles all the time. Um, flip. Oops. And. Uh, 
uh, and this guy also broke. So they lose that. Five, it's one residual. They are first fired. Unfortunate, but you know, gotta, gotta lose something. These LMG guys, one, two, three, four, five. Let's make sure those guys aren't marked. Two, three, four, five, six. And I'm basically just doing this to be silly. Uh, they will shoot. It is a four firepower, uh, plus two, down ones, plus one. Nine, no, nothing. Uh, four firepower, halved. To two and then two hindrance, so no residual. Uh, what's available to them as a red path? I think here. They can't see them. No, they cannot see them, which is nice, I guess. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Then, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so they have portage of three, which goes down to two each. The leader doesn't provide anything they are carrying six which means they're down two they uh, would have eight maximum yeah so, so they're good there I think that's it cool uh, defensive fire so anybody anything anybody else can do not really Two, three, four, five, six. I could do a four up two shot. Four up two. Oh. That'll be it for defensive. Um, I don't really think I have much in the way of advancing. I guess I could do uh, one and a half. I could do six. I can do nine firepower up three. No. Uh, nothing else for anybody else. Uh, routes. Now they are moving in the open, but nobody has range anymore. So uh, let's start with these guys. They will route one. Now they can see this guy. What is the range here? Is it six, 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 six. So they're never getting closer. Yeah, so one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. They can't go anywhere else. Um, yeah, I guess that's a little unfortunate because I would have wanted them in R2, but whatever. Two, three, four. So, two, three, or one, two, three, four, three, three, four. Uh, so they can't get closer, so they will route this way. And again, it's outside range, there's hindrance, there's hindrance, so they're not going to be bothered. Advanced phase, we're just going to do this. Six dudes. Go back there. Uh, I don't 
really care to split them yet. That's it. Uh, no CC. Oh, I forgot to do this. Yeah. Cool. Uh, right, right, right. Weather, no change. Yeah, I don't... <laughs> Rudin, I don't think this one's going to be good, to be honest. Uh, I was talking a bit about the, um... Like, the history of this scenario, and... Yeah. The one good thing is that playing this solo, I should be able to get this done tonight, and... Or at least get to a point where I really stop caring, so... So, huzzah. Um... All right, uh, rally phase. There's nothing for the uh, Republicans to do. Nationalists have at least one. They will try to rally, and they won't get it. Um, these guys are going to retain their DM status. If anything, just against like B three. Yeah, I think that's the. I think that's the only thing I can really do. Um, prep fire. These guys are kind of hosed. I don't really know if I want to move them. So it's probably best just to shoot. I could assault move into BB2. You know what I'll do? Uh, I'm going to do a fire group with these three jokers. And they're all going to shoot at BB1. I'm pretty sure none of them have obstruction. No. Um... So we're looking at uh, 16, because everybody's within range. So 16 firepower up one. They will cower. Uh, so we'll go down to 12. It is a plus one. Uh, so 7 on 12, 1 MC. Uh, they'll both break. Second guy will ELR. Takes the CX away. Which is nice. Can't uh, can't say that's bad. I don't think these guys need to move now, although they could get shot at from these groups. Uh, we'll do a fire group of H1 and G1 against CC1 as a eight up one. Uh, eight on eight is a normal. Uh, he's fine. He's fine, and he's fine. Sniper check. Nothing. Heat of battle is a three okay um they're italians so they automatically add three so it's a six there's nothing else yeah six so they battle harden don't know why that tosses it to the top uh and they also create a hero so right away we're getting into some pretty crazy stuff Um, yeah, there you go. I actually forget. I'm just gonna mark them as CX, whatever. Uh, they're prepped, these guys are all fine. Yeah, that does kind of lead him to need to want to crawl down here. It'll also force them to route, so it's probably a good idea. Um, we'll have this stack attack the CX guys uh, in DD1. It's a 10 up 2. Uh, 9 on 10, is that? Pin test check. Uh, leader. He's fine. Down two, down two, they're all fine. Two, I have rate, I do not. These guys are in a building, so I don't really. It's not really a big deal. I guess like as long as long as I don't break the LMG, that's really the biggest point. Um, because I will want I will need them against these vehicles for sure. Um 
Let's do, let's be cheeky. We'll do four up one. Uh, six on four, normal. Crowd check. These guys will bail it. That's fun. Is there anybody else? I do have rate, but... I don't think that's going to be worthwhile. Yeah, you know what? I'm done with this. Um, movement phase. This is really... This is just not a great position for them. Um, they're going to go out for one. They can't be shot at yet. Two, three. That's it for their move. One, two, three, four. No, you know what? They're they're good enough to threaten here. They're fine. Uh go with the original plan two. Yeah, two, three, four. And then we'll just separate them here. Six, five, six. They will assault move down so they won't be able to get shot at. I'm not gonna sh uh, you know what? I'm better off just hand holding them there. Um those guys are flying there. I think I want to move these guys away. One, two, three, four. Yeah, that sounds right. Cool. Uh, defensive fire phase. This is a stone building, I think. Yeah, stone building. And do fire group and have. 12, 14, up 6, not worth it, not worth it at all, and an HMG here, uh, we'll take this stack because it's way easier to determine, um, I forget again if, I'm pretty sure heroes can CX, uh, I'm pretty sure they have to share their um, partner group there, so we have 6 firepower, 9, uh, 13, 14. The leader will uh, block out the CX. Um, the hero is adding a minus 1, so it's a plus 1 overall. Uh, we have 8 on 14, say 1 MC. And they will break. I will mark them. I'm just gonna have a strike to put the DM. That's probably the best way to do it. Cool. Uh, I don't have a rate of fire. So that is sadly all that they're gonna be able to do. These guys. You know, I think I will do uh this is five fourteen. 14 up, was it 4? Yeah, 14 up 4. Uh, I guess technically random selection are some doubles. Uh, yep, yeah, that's it. Advanced fire, might as well. 4 up 1. 7, pin dash check, doesn't do anything. Routes this um again these guys have to route away so they'll route there it's pretty much as far as they can go uh this is overstacked now yeah they're overstacked now which doesn't really matter all that much since uh that stack can and will move next turn 
Um, these guys will. Can they see them? Yeah. I'm sure they must. Yeah. Uh, how many hindrances? Four? These guys are in motion, so yes. So they'll move there to go three. And that's pretty much it. Cool. Uh, advances. Might as well threaten them. These guys. Oh, I should grab these guys. Um. Two, four, six. There. Uh, advances. Do this. Oops. I jumped. Do that. This guy's fine there for now. MMG is fine there for now. Actually, um, I can go up a level. We'll go up a level. This mortar crew. It's a building. I go there. I'll go, go there. Uh, does anybody else want to move? Anybody else need to move? That's a better question. That sounds right. Uh, no CC. Turn two, no weather change. Uh, rallies. This will go away. I just can't keep marked to know that uh, they're still broken. Um, try. Oh, I do have self rally attempts. We'll try a self-rally on the broken guy. No. That would have been nice. Um, that's not work now. Uh, over here. Uh, no and no. They'll keep the M. Pretty sure that's it. Uh, prep fire. Do I want anybody to prep fire? I don't really have a point to prep fire these guys yet. Uh, I will probably want to prep fire. Actually, there's nothing else for them to see. And shoot at, so maybe, maybe that is worthwhile to do for that group. Oh, I have to repair these. Um, HMG, LMG. I'll take one. Um, so we'll have the. You know what? I'll just I'll just toss it everybody. I can separate them later. So uh, six, twelve. There's another seven. Twenty six. Twenty eight. Uh, twenty eight flat. Seven on twenty eight. Or MC. Yeah, they're broken. Stripe. More clone at the end. And thankfully, because of well, unless I do something sneaky with these guys or something. But yeah, they're kind of they'll probably be screwed, or won't be screwed. Is what I meant to say. The prep fire. Do I want to shoot with these guys? And the answer is probably not, to be honest. I don't think I will. No, I don't think I will. Uh, what is the terrain cost? Vineyard. Hmm.
You know what? That is an interesting proposition. Okay, we'll go into moving phase. These guys will turn for one. They will enter. And this will cost... Uh, what is it? Open ground is four, I think, for an armored car. I still think that's kind of crazy. Sorry, three for an armored car. It says four total. They will continue like this for... That is... Yeah, I might as well just move them all then. Um, oops. So, that was four. This is another four, I believe. So, eight. And this will be 12. And then they'll all stop. Or 13. Uh, these guys are hull MGs. This guy's a turret. Which I don't really care to do anything right now with. I kind of wonder if I could have done armored assault, but maybe not. Yeah, maybe not. Um, yeah, I'll just wait till the advance phase. Have one squad assault move. These guys will take the eight flat. Uh, actually, would have been down one, but anyways. So they're final. Um, Since they're final, these guys will normal move for two and four. They will, they're just going to try and uh, final protective. They'll cower again, and that's going to break them. Really don't expect a 12 and then a 10. Um... Two, four, six. These guys will take a shot. Uh, they will cower. And it's a two flat. Uh, so two on two is a K1. Random selection. Leader's dead. Well, they'll break. Uh... Take a second round check, and they will half squad. I know that's kind of greedy, but you know you also don't expect them to suddenly roll a two. Final, especially when this seemed like a pretty easy lockup to uh, kill them. I could toss a squad that way. One, two, three, four. Yeah. CX, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's see how these things go first. Uh, two, four. They, these guys will shoot. There's no extra protection, right? No. Oh, for God's sakes, I forgot that these are bog. Uh, they all take a bog check. I think I did three hexes. Ah, that's why I hate about bog checks. I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be flying on bog checks anyways, but... Since those were some pretty decent rolls. Bog. It's a 12 or more. 
Woods Graveyard Building Rubble. It's not any of those. It's not wire. The most I could get would be fully or not fully tracked. And those guys. And then maybe a, high, a normal ground pressure. I actually don't know if any of, the, any of these guys have high ground pressure. Vehicle counters. Okay, high ground pressure from that guy. So that guy box. That guy specifically box. Bad things. Oh. So that guy specifically box. Cool. Um. Yeah. Anyways. Uh. So he gets there for four. They're gonna shoot. Uh. Just one squad as an eight. Uh. Down one. Yeah. Eight down one. Pfft. Okay. Well, you're finaled. Um, back to back. Wow, uh, pretty sure that's KIA. I'm not going to be entering that X, that's for sure. Yeah, two, four. They'll take a shot. A straight shot uh yeah nothing yeah first uh what's what's the that I'm looking at here I don't think there's there's two residual uh they'll just do one two three there This comes off these guys. Two, four. The rest will shoot as a uh, 12 down two. Jesus. Uh, yeah, they're dead too. I think that also would destroy the LMG. Uh, the rest are first fired. Well, with that in mind, uh, we're going to do, how the heck did I grab that, uh, two, four, one, two, three, yeah, I think everybody could shoot him, so we're just going to do everybody as a 12, uh, 12 up one, I think. So is that 9 on 12? Normal. They're fine. These guys are all first fired. Uh, and then ending in G1. For 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, nobody else can shoot at them. Oh, you know what? They'll take a shot. As a... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. As a... Four, yeah, another four up one. Uh, eight, no, yes. No rate. I think that's it for shots. I could do... Uh, is there anybody else I can move? Not really. We'll just do him there. Uh, defense fire phase. We'll do DD6 to these guys, which might have... Uh, it's a plus two. Uh, sure, four plus two. Okay, no. Uh, four up three. Nope. I don't think they can really see too much thanks to these woods. Well, no, they would be able to... 
We'll have them shoot there. I'm not even sure if it's visible. Nope, didn't think so. Cool. Wait, did that pick... Uh, did that pick virtual? No. Even with level one? Okay. I get, yeah, it makes sense. But anyways. Alright. Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Advanced fire phase. Literally no point to shoot these broken guys. They're going to die no matter what. Um... Nobody else can shoot here. Uh, this vehicle as a 4 of 3. Nope. This vehicle is a 4 of 3. Nope. I should take off the defensive fire. Uh, 2, 3, 4. Nope. Watch to be done there. No, that's kind of it. I lost so much early in terms of firepower. I'm not sure. Uh, this is a pretty big deficit. This is what? Three squads alone? Really? Three squads plus another one and a half? Oof. Almost five squads lost. In turn two? It's not good. Um, route phase. The Italians first. So two or six. Uh, these guys don't have to move. Do I want to move them there? From there? No. They don't have to, and I'm not going to. Uh, everyone else died. Um, oh, this guy dies. Just nothing he can do. Um, he can... Where can he route? I think his nearest... Movement factors is this. One, two, three, seven. One, two, four, seven. So he can choose, and everywhere would have hindrance. So yeah, we'll do seven to there. He's not DM'd. Nobody else is broken. Cool. Uh, advances. Uh, he's just going to go here. You're going to go there. There. This comes off. That advance, advance, advance. No CC. Uh, rally phase two. Weather, no change. Uh, you're gonna lose DM. They're gonna try and rally this guy. Uh, it's not gonna work. Um, his broken morale would be six, I believe, so. Or even at a seven, doesn't matter. Um, this guy can't rally. His DM comes off. Um, over here, we have two rallies to attempt. Neither of them work. Over here, there's two rallies. Uh, both work. So that's good. Uh, repair? Nope. Damn. Uh, I'm gonna try and repair this gun. Not what I wanted. Uh, does come back. Alright. Uh, prep fire. Well, now that I know that this uh, MMG does not have a good spot to see kind of anything. Well, maybe not anything, but um, yeah, I'm definitely going to have to move that. So I'm not going to shoot. They're not going to shoot. They can't. I mean, uh, I can do a 4 of 3, but I honestly 
think these kids are better off moving. Um, uh, four up one. Nope. We'll do a four up one. Coward to two, five NMC. We'll break. Um, the LMG will target this tank. We'll barely get a hit. Uh, that might actually be a kill. Um, hull, it's a one. Uh, MG. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be a kill. Uh, crew survival, barely, does not make it. So that's a wreck. Uh, so that's an LMG shot. The squad with the leader will shoot at the 9-2 with the HMG as a, what is that, 8, uh, 8 flat, 7, 1 MC, uh, both pass easily, uh, which that's not good. Um... LMG versus the tank. Hit. No. No rate. Um, the squad will shoot. No. Seven up one, eight on f two. No. These guys don't really have a good shot. This mortar has to move. Yeah, I think that. I think the rest is movement. Um, this squad is going to move four back into here. Um, Commissar is going to assault move. These guys are going to go down one. Uh, I think it's still two movement because it's not an inherent stairwell. Or it's not a, a printed stairwell. Uh, two... Three, four, two, four, five, and I can maybe getting him to X7 and then just covering this area is probably a good idea. These guys literally don't have to move. Although, that being said, um, these guys will assault move. And maybe there's value in 2, 3. Actually, you know what? I don't, I don't need to do that. Because these guys can fill that gap. I kind of like this guy just being here. Um, yeah, I think I'm just going to keep that guy there. Uh, defensive fire. We shall do. Uh, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Take this group in DD1 against Y4. It's not gonna... I can't imagine that mattering. It's 5 range. So, 2, 4, uh, 6 and a half. Yeah, 10... Yeah, 10, 12, no, nothing. No shots for any... Oh, I forgot this. We'll do four up one. Uh, six might be a morale check. Six on four morale check? It is. This guy's great. Um, uh... That's a fire. That's a wood tax. Yeah, we'll do three uh, up two. They will cower to one, four normal morale check. Um, they will not break. They will pin. However, sniper does activate. Five three one two three. Uh, pins this guy. Uh, 
which is kind of whatever. Um, this vehicle as a eight up three breaks the main gun. Uh, squad with the HMG and the leader will be an 18 up one. Uh, 7 on 18. We are looking at a 2 morale check. Leader's kind of pretty sure he's dead. My casualty MC, I think I keep... I think I've checked that more than once. Pretty sure that is dead no matter what. Oh, they're just auto wounded. Uh, later takes wounds to ready and rolls fire. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, uh, leader takes wound check. He's only wounded, but broken. Um, morale check. It was a like, two morale check. Uh, so, these guys pin. Morale check. Uh, they're fine. Um, now, the leader breaking does force these guys to take a pin test check. They are pinned, so everybody's pinned now. So this is fine that way. Um, I had rate of fire, I believe. Yeah, IFT uh, had rate of fire, so the HMG is going to shoot again. It's going to be uh, 12 uh, up one. 6 on 12. It's another 2 MC. Uh, leader will take another wound severity. Now he's dead. 2MC and 2MC, they both break. I actually don't... Uh, their ELR is... Where's my... 3? 2MC, yeah. These guys are both ELR. Can I ELR them? Yes. Uh, we'll just mark off those straight and... At the end... Uh, that was not a rate of fire, so I can't keep shooting, sadly. This vehicle will do 4 up 2. Uh, 5 on 4, 1 MC. They're fine. Uh, I do have rate of fire, but I'm not going to push it, to be honest. Boy, howdy. I don't know how I come back from this. Um, advanced fire phase, none. Routes. This one is at least somewhat simpler for one side. Um, oh, if this vehicle wasn't blown up. Uh, in route... Oh, wait, they can't. They absolutely cannot. Uh, one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they can't. They are... Um, I guess technically, I might be able to take... Prisoners? Can I take prisoners? What does the scenario card say? Hmm. Hmm. 
would I take prisoners or not? The problem is it's two squads. No, you know what? I would not take prisoners. So they are going to low crawl there. Actually, they can only low crawl into CC5. So you're going to low crawl there. Uh, Alright. So I guess on the plus side, that vacates that. Is there any other routes? These guys have to route back to the woods here. Uh, these guys will two, four, six. I don't think anybody else needs to route. No. Not at all. All right. Uh, advances. Yeah, that leaves these guys in a bind. I guess technically they'll have, just have to live with it. They will advance there. You can go here. They will go in there. They will go here. They will go there. I'm sorry, I was going to try and rally that dude. I don't need them in the foxhole anymore. So I'll just book it. And that's it. Uh, no CC. No CC, turn three. Take pins off. Um, I'm going to self rally this guy. Nope. That damn will come off. Uh, is unbogging during the movement phase? Probably. doesn't say in in you god damn it bog bog removal start of its mp all right cool uh what else do we got where what else what else um try to rally these folks one two they both come back surprisingly um this dm will come off we'll try to repair this machine gun hey i should have rolled for the vehicle now the vehicle will not get it. Alright. Go into prep fire phase. Honestly, there's not much I really want to do. I could prep fire these guys, but it doesn't really seem worthwhile. Um, same thing here. It doesn't really get me anything. Yeah, no, I think this I think this is a purely movement turn. Um, leader squad goes in. Um, I'm not gonna bother shooting right away. Three, four, six can come in. Um, this giant. Oh, you know what? I didn't. Right. Uh, they will make it. Um, yeah, these guys being kind of under watch by this giant kill stack doesn't really make them want to move into BB1. So I think my plan is going to be to assault move. Uh, they'll take a shot anyways, because why not? Uh, difference being that it is uh, one, two, three, four, five. It is going to be an 8 firepower uh, up 1. Or I could do 10. Yeah, we'll do say 10. Um, 7 on 10, still just 1 MC. Alright, that sucks. Pinned and break. Well, I tried. Uh, that will be the first fire for the entire stack. Uh, 
Uh, vehicle will try to unfog itself. Uh, bottom removal, spending start 15 equal to. Original color dye times white dye. Yeah, that's not. <laughs> if the vehicle's not on track. The final DR, color DR is 1 4. Yeah, okay, so it's not bogged anymore, but it has spent. They've spent literally all of their uh, movement. Uh, starting and expanding. Yeah. Cool. Um, LMG will try to load up. Nope. As well. Uh, who else? This leader will spend six to go there. These half squads, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Now I'd be a two up like two, and that's not really worth it. Two, four, they can't shoot, can't shoot there. This guy's get some DM on him. Two, four, these guys will shoot. This is like really risky and probably not really worth it at all, but uh, 12 flat, eight out of 12. One MC, yeah, it's probably not really, yeah. But it wasn't rolling so high. But also, like, I'm kind of, I'm putting these guys in bad positions no matter what. I just don't think that, uh, with, like, eight turns, like, there's, there's so much firepower from the, the fact that, like, there's more squads defending in this version that I honestly don't know like what else you would do. I guess like there is one thing you could do, but I don't really know if it helps. But I guess we'll just we'll analyze that later. Uh, these guys haven't moved. Where do I want these guys? Two, four. And then they'll shoot. Which I'm pretty sure should be fine. Um, I think they are both have that. So it's Six firepower up one. All right, well, that didn't matter. Yeah, that's it. All right, defensive fire. Um, is it even? Yeah, sure. Uh, eight firepower up four. Uh, ten, no, nothing. They can't see them. It's actually a really bad idea to go that way now. I might have to take these guys and put them into Y3. That sucks. Actually, Y3 is not a good position either for that in order. Um, yeah, this is... You know what? I'm probably just going to drop this. And not care about it anymore. Instantly is not worth uh, doing anything with anymore. 
Uh, defensive fire. These guys already shot. I just forgot to mark them. They can't shoot at anybody. Nobody else has shots. Um, advanced fire phase. We'll just do this, I guess. Um, adjacent. So six down two. Four and six two MC. They're halved. Uh, Alright, but I can break them, actually. So, huzzah! Yeah, I don't think I have any other shots. Uh, you know what? We'll just lay the paint on them. Uh, what is that? Four and a half? Oh, five with him within range, so five minus one, uh, four and five is a two MC, uh, and they will pass somehow. They might actually not. Um, second line. Second line Republican half squad. They don't, so they're actually conscripts or greens, I guess. They give five broken, so no, they're dead. No other shots. Uh, routes, yep, yeah, as always. Going to be plenty of them. Um, attacker first, so two, four, six. Just get them out of the way. They are routing there. there we go. That's it. Uh, they have to route nearest, so they go into the foxhole and then into V0. That's it. Advances. Uh, boy, howdy. Other advances I want to do. Get this squad out into E5. Boss the MMG and Hero in there. Uh, we'll have the LMG and squad go back. I don't know why I did that. These CS guys are going to go into there. Bam into F1. Uh, well, I want to J1. That's pretty much it. So you see, still none. Turn three Republicans. Weather, no change. Um, routes. Let's look at DMs as well. Interesting. Um, rallies, uh, try to self rally. Nope. DM cloth. Nothing else for that side. That DM goes away. Uh, no, no. We'll try to rally the undm guys first. They will both make it, surprisingly. And the broken leader. Uh, nope. Oops. And the... No. Cool. Um, try to repair the gun. Nope. And that's it. Forgot to move this guy. Right. Red fire phase. I mean, that is public enemy number one, so I kind of have to. Uh, we'll do a 4 2 shot. No. Uh, 4 up 1. 6 on 4 should be a normal. Yep, yeah, normal. You know, break.
Yeah, technically everybody still gets to shoot. Uh, MMG and squad against these guys. They'll cower. Um, and it's uh, on eight. Oops, that's not final. That's prep. Um, nine on eight. Pentash check. They will pin. Could have been a lot better. Uh, these guys will move since they're pinned. They have nothing really to worry about. Hopefully. We'll do a, a giant fire group of X2. Well, um, yeah, you know what? Uh, X2, X3, and, and Y4. I'm pretty sure they cannot see. No, but that doesn't mean that the fire group will end. Um, it is a range 6. It's 2, 4, 6, 10. Um, so 14. Up four. Oof. Uh, seven on fourteen is a two morale check. Uh, pins. Hero will take a wound. Uh, break and they're fine. So he pins. You're wounded. You're broken. HMG guys fine. Okay, uh, this guy's not good. Also, sniper? No sniper. Jesus. I feel like I should just give him one, you know? Um, LMG versus tank. Uh, that's a hit. Not a success. Uh, movement phase, I mean, with these guys having one broken guy, uh, we'll do uh, that's too crazy. Sure, one. Yeah, the uh, I should do it this way. Um, Squad is going to shoot its inherent as a three down two. Oh, and you know what? The hero will shoot two. So it's a four down three. Jesus. Pintash check. They're fine. Two, three. They'll shoot the HMG. Um, the hero is going to help out as well as a tw uh, 13 down 3. Okay, now like you should be dead. 2 on 13. Yeah, okay. Well, I tried. Plan was to, one, hope that the firepower is so reduced that they could get in. Uh, I should probably do... This and residual um, also gives me the ability to move these guys to X7 as an assault move. And now I can just uh, send the mortar to just like pummel this building over and over and over again. I can do one, two, three. Uh, one and a half, three. These guys will take a shot, but it's one and a half, uh, flat. No. Yeah, nothing else. Uh, defensive fire. We'll do this LMG versus there. Actually, it's not worth it at all. Uh, this LMG versus this. Uh, that would also not be worth it. No, there's really no good shots. Advanced fire phase, none. Routes. 
I don't even think there's going to be many routes, to be honest. Uh, these guys will route there. They're going to stay in the building. They didn't get shot at. Yeah, nobody else. Uh, advances. Advances. There's like nothing for me to really do here. I guess technically I could have moved this commissar back. This guy advances there. You will advance here. Just to put pressure on this squad. That's pretty much it. Uh, no CC. Turn four. Uh, no change in weather. Pins come off. Alright, broken people. A lot of them, a lot of them. We will do uh, self-rally. Uh, they will make it, barely. Uh, leader, squad, wow, both make it. DM comes away. Uh, rally, nope. Air. He might actually have to be... He's on recall. That guy's recalled. Disabled MA recall. Here, each malfunction can be attempted once per rally phase with separate DR for each malfunction weapon, yada yada. DR6 disables a weapon permanently, causes an action function counter be flipped over to the disabled side. Any vehicle whose main armament and all secondary armament are all disabled is immediately recalled unless they have that vehicle has passenger joint capability. Alright, so that vehicle is a goner. Uh, prep fire, is there anything I can really even do? I mean, I might as well try going on a tear DD4 against Y4. And the first result I get sucks. Uh, 8 on 9 should be a morale check. They both pass. Um... They are going to be Republicans. Get a plus one, I think. It's just plus one. Yeah, they're not a militia. No. Oh, no. Huh? Wait. Doesn't make any sense. Oh, right, international review. That makes okay, that makes more sense. Um, yeah, okay, so, um, they get a they're not militia, which means they get a plus one only, which means they have a ten. Uh, no quarter was invoked, but it won't matter. They go berserk. Oik, oik. So I remember they exist. Uh, I didn't have rate of fire, so that's their shots entirely, which again sucks. Uh, six up one. Jesus. 
Yeah, I don't think those attacks uh, long for this world, to be honest. No, I don't think there's much else I can do in prep. Uh, movement. Um, I don't think they all have to move, but what does need to happen is they will need to uh, bunch up, take a task check, and then they'll bog in. Now, this guy basically turns twice. Might both be bog check. Pretty sure he's fine. Uh, that's two, four. Bog check. No. Um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then moves off board. So he's gone. I should make a clone and put him. In. Um. So he's bogged. I think he can still move freely. He's gonna go down. Basically stop. Honestly, not much else to do. Uh, two, four, one, three. They will shoot as a four flat, they'll cower two, one MC. Uh, pin again. <laughs> This trio will go two, four, six. This leader, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This CX comes off. That's what two, three, they'll shoot. Uh, four down two, no. Surprisingly, so it's two, three, four. Subsequent, nope. Uh, bypass one, two, three, uh, four. And we'll just take the residual. Nope. Uh, let's. Final defensive, it will still be four, it will still be down two, yeah, it's still a K2, Jesus. Uh, no, I have to keep us a three. Um... Two, we'll take a shot. Uh, it's a down one. One, two, three, four. Uh, so five on four. One MC. Jeez. Okay, I think this is getting pretty close, me thinks. Like, I know I'm being really risky, but. You kind of need to do something. I just don't think that... I think that the losses for the attackers are just so great so so quickly. Especially with the breaks as well. It doesn't help. But, yeah. Defensive fire. Not even going to bother doing anything, really. Uh, advanced fire. One up one. Nope, that's that that's a miss. Uh four up one. Nope. Almost broke the gun. Should have reversed. Nothing. There as a no, that would doesn't even register. Uh oh, I should have done final 
has a four of one. Brings, uh, yeah, it's filled. You know, he can't go closer, so he's gonna go right there. He's come off. That's it for routes, advances. I got, I got nothing else I can really do. <clears throat> Like, I might as well try my luck at, at CC. Nothing else has really worked out, so... No, uh, I could have shot this guy back, whatever. Um, ambush will do... Um, Italians, then Republicans. Alright, so there is an ambush. Alright, is there anything else? Oh, wait, that guy's not elite, so he's so he's lax. The, why are they lax? Really? There's an auto lax penalty to. Okay. So there is no ambush. Um, it's not one to one. Nope, that just flips. Same dealy. No ambush. Actually, there is an ambush. By the Republicans. Uh, can't get it done. Oh, no, wait. That's, sorry, the 4 to 1. I'm still calculating 1 to 1. Uh, yeah, they're dead. Uh, weather, no change. Rallies. It's one side that's doing all of the breaking and needs the rallies. Here we have a down two, they'll make it. Over here, oh, uh, I forgot to move this guy. Um, three rallies, one makes it, the other's not. Cool, that's pretty much it. Uh, prep fire. Eight up one. Uh, normal. Pass. No rates. I'm actually very curious. Uh, four up one. No sniper. Mortar versus there to hit. Uh, what's the range on this? Six? That might actually not be a hit. Nope, not a hit. Like that. Yeah, I don't think anybody else can, can see. But we'll do uh, X2 versus DD4. Uh, I think last time was 10. Does it cross that? Yes. Uh, so 10 of 3. Pretty sure 11 is nothing. Four up three. Nope. And if I wanted to be BM, well, BM, it's not really BM, but if I, if I want to be a jerk, I could just keep shooting at this, but I'm not just for the sake of, I don't know, decorum or something stupid. Uh, doesn't blow up tank. Like, I can just, like, throw away shots. That's how, that's how much... 
that's how much I know of a, uh, I'm in a lead. Like, even though I'm playing against myself, like, there's not much else I really need to do, to be honest. Um, yeah. Uh, Berserk's closest visible is Z0, so 1, 2, 3, 4. These guys will shoot as a 10, uh, 10 down 1. Six on ten is one morale check. Nope. Uh, they will shoot a second time. As a five down one, they will not get a good result. Um, they'll run in, final protective fire. They won't get anything and break. Uh, I won is going to shoot at the Berserkers. Uh, it is a 14 flat. 3 on 14 is a K3. So they are immediately a half squad. Uh, and then take a 3 morale, they're fine. Uh, it does cost 2, so they'll shoot again. Um, it's a 6 on 7, which is a 1 morale check, and their fine sniper does not activate. Fine old. Uh, hmm. 1 and a half, they'll shoot. Uh, 5, it's probably a plus 1. Nope. Uh, so five down one. Nope. Oh, and then they continue for three and a half. Those first. Pretty much it for movement. We'll have the Doom stack try its luck against DD8. Uh, seven, sixteen. 17 flat 7 on 17 2 morale check so the leader breaks leader breaks uh, sniper does activate One. Just pins this guy. Kind of very mediocre result, but all right. Um, IFT was a three. The HMG gets to shoot again, uh, so they will. And it'll be a six up one, no result. Uh, the vehicle will shoot eight firepower up one. Not what I wanted. Uh, nine pin test check. They're fine. Yep, that's it. Uh, oh, I didn't do triple half, but I, yeah, I don't think it would have mattered. Um, six three up one. Nope. I don't think there's anything else. Uh, routes. Now, these guys aren't held in melee. So they do get to route. And they can do so leaving the hex that they're in. So, two, four, six. Uh, this leader's kind of screwed and has to move into two, or one and a half, three and a half, five and a half. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, I think that's it. Uh, advances, might as well just do this. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to throw two squads. Let's just throw one. 
Uh, berserkers will advance. Oh, wait. What was the rule again? I think it's good order only. Something about advances that I always mess up with. Uh, berserkers. We're going to pin or mark with the... Okay, you don't have to be good order. Okay, that's that was uh, my concern. CC, uh, you can advance there. I don't need anybody else to do anything. They're elite, so they don't need to do a patsy. So CC phase. Uh, let's continue this one. It's a uh, one to one for them. They'll get a casualty reduction. So this gets reduced. Yeah, I think this is spelling its doom. Uh, CC here. Um, concealment or concealment ambush. Uh, we'll do um, the na the Republicans first. Okay, so they're going to be lax for being berserk. Uh, is there anything else? Oh, they just get a plus one for being berserk. They're not also... Presumably, they're not also lax. Um, wouldn't matter because the Italians are lax. So there's no ambush. Um, they're going to go uh, two to one versus the half squad. Um, the leader will pair with them, so it's a one-to-one -one instead, and the entire group will fight back as a, uh, eight to two, so four to one. So, uh, one-to-one, -one, they'll get a casualty reduction, ten, uh, four-to-one doesn't even get anything. So casualty reduction, random selection leader, half squad, half squad's dead. Man, even four to one, I can't get anything. Jesus. Um, there's no ambush. The squad will go first. Um, since it's uh, squad. Uh, so squad goes first. They need a five. There's no modifiers that I can tell. Um, vehicle stopped. Has a usable MG. Yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Okay. Uh, that turns it into a burning wreck. Leader creation is a 7. Base morale is 8. Uh, yeah, no, that's it. They just get... Uh, they, they generate a 7-0. Which, I mean, at this point, I think this is kind of, this may be done. Because that will be, um, it would be a burning wreck. I'm pretty sure that generates a burning wreck. I'm just going to mark it as blaze. If it's not, whatever. Um, but I honestly don't think there's anything else to recover from. Like, I know I played greedy, but I don't, like... I guess maybe the, the better thing... Okay, so do I want to call it? This is a big question. These guys are locked in melee. There's one free squad. They're going to get pelted. Um, in the rally phase, do I get anybody back? Let's say I self-rally this guy. Uh, I don't get him back. This DM goes away. We'll try to hyper-play this now. Uh, one, two. They both come back. Uh, this CX belongs to the leader only. Um, T 
Shi is off. Death stack against there. Seven. It's flat. Uh, we'll say two MC. They break. Should try rallying this guy. Nope. Uh, Tip comes off. Um, I still don't have rate of fire, even with a heavy machine gun. There to there, IFT. It's a CMG. Uh, eight firepower. Up like four. Because the smoke. Smoke will be plus two, plus three, six, it's a one MC. So this guy breaks, leader pins. Um, so yeah, that's like Five up four, it's really not worth it. Five up four. Nope. It wasn't gonna work anyways, but you know. Uh that's prep fire movement. We'll say like one, two, three, roll gets the LMG. That's your movement. Uh, one, two, three, four. I don't even want to have like, hazard shots with these guys. I don't think it's worth it. Uh, as a group, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, four, five. X comes off. Like, I can get two buildings, but I don't, I don't understand. I don't think I can do anything else. Defensive fire. Uh, 12 up 1. Okay. That's broken again. I don't need to do anything with these guys. Although, I'll just do that shot. No. Uh, that does not break, thankfully. LMG and squad, six of three. No. Could it be close, I guess, but no. Uh, mortar. Uh, hits. Five. Now, TM should apply for mortar results, I believe. If I remember correctly, that's how it works. Three point three point one or three point three three one. Yeah, but TEM that does not grant the target hold down status versus that shot does apply to the resulting effects DR. So uh, it's a plus three, the it's a fifty millimeter. So it's fifty millimeter, which is six, drops down to three, there's a plus three, so eight is nothing. Do have rate two hit hits IFT nothing two hit that breaks uh, it does not break but no rate cool uh, advanced fire phase leaders pinned we'll just yeah we'll take a what was it six Probably, yeah, six of one. Okay. Um, another uh, five up two. Uh, four, five, two MC. They're literally, actually, this guy will be a half squad because his value will be different. Um, two MC, this guy breaks. 
Sniper, no sniper. That's it for advancing there. Yeah, nothing else. Uh, routes. I, these guys can't route. They're just dead. Oops. Can this guy route? I mean, no quarter is in effect. So he can at least no crawl, or low crawl. I don't think he can do anything else. Uh, nobody else is DM'd. Advances. You go there, you go there, you go there. Uh, does the blaze spread? Nope. Um, you go there. CC phase. Let's do this one first. It's probably a lost cause. Um, do one to two versus a squad, and everybody else will do a three to one. So three to one first, they'll get it. Uh, one to two won't get it. So berserks are dead. That goes away. Uh, this melee one to one. They'll actually get the kill. One to one back does not get it. Okay. Um, good results. Don't do anything at the end of it though. Turn five, hyper speed. Uh, no change in weather. Rally. Uh, I keep forgetting they'll try to self rally. They should get that for sure. Um, that guy's broken rally. Uh, gets it. This repair gets it. They've been really lucky with that repair. I think this is kind of where things will like shut off here. Uh, repair? No. Um, and here's kind of the problem is uh, this will be a fire group 16 up one six on 16 it's dangerous it's a 2 MC these guys have to suffer through a lot 2 MC uh, squad is fine half squad breaks no Sam um, MMG is fine so they'll shoot again the MMG does not do anything this stack now shoots there as a 16 flat. Okay. Uh, it's an automatic 2k. I hate. So they're just dead. Uh, there is rate, but literally nothing else to throw it at. Mortar. Uh, it gets a hit. No. Gets a hit. No. Gets a hit. Or, yes. Gets a hit. No. Gets a hit. Nope. Gets a... Hit? No. I would need, like, a 3 or a 2. Or a critical hit. But I have not been getting critical hits. Uh, so that's it for prep fire. Movement, again, there's, like, none for me to do. I'll just be a jerk and move these guys back as a salt move. Um, these guys will assault move. Oops. Assault move, assault move. And I just need two buildings, and I can get it with, you know, X2, Y6. There's nothing, there's nothing that's, that stops me from retaining that, so... Uh, defensive fire phase. We'll do... Uh, we'll do DD4 against the guys in the open. Uh, I don't even think it matters. I, yeah. 
I think unless it only gives no it's it's no matter what it would be a 2k uh sniper does not activate so these guys are dead actually a little more goes with them now uh i do have the opportunity to to specific or you know, specify which angle they would be shooting with which would be this direction so we'll keep shooting there and then it doesn't do anything um well uh it is 10 firepower uh 10 firepower down to uh down to up four so up to no um they them nope nothing else uh, advanced fire phase, none, routes, they can move here, actually they're there, two, four, six, that is perfectly legal, uh, I need, I took off the by accident, um, Yeah, honestly, there's so much else. Uh, advances. You go back here. You go here. Actually, you can go here. It doesn't... It honestly will not matter. Um, you can go back to Rally. No CC. Uh, turn... <clears throat> excuse me. Turn 6. No change in weather. Pretty natural at this point. Uh, suffer the attempt gets it repair doesn't get it forgot to check blaze doesn't get it actually vineyard hmm. what is or no wait that's brush uh, so that will that will turn to a fire there. Uh, not that it will really matter. I honestly don't think so. Uh, rally? No. Prep fire? Again, pretty sure I don't have a shot there, so they will continue shooting against this group. Okay, second time they get a really good result. Uh, it said it was a plus two. What's the overall? One, two, three, four, five, six. It's one and a half, three. Uh, so it's three, seven, thirteen. Uh, thirteen up to five on thirteen is a three morale check. Morale check, morale check, morale check, morale check. Uh, two break. Uh, three morale check, six nine. So this guy pins. Yeah, this guy pins. These two guys break. I do have rate, so might as well. Uh, yeah, that's nothing. No. They're not doing anything. You know, okay, so movement phase. Uh, uh, they assault move there. Two, three, they'll stay there. Um, like, I could try to shoot, but that's not worth it because I want to move these guys. Which will be one, two, three, four. Uh, bypass one, two. They'll shoot as a uh, six down two. So seven and six, normal. They're fine. First fired. 
um, that's two, three, four. They'll shoot again. They'll break the LMG and do nothing of note. Which means these guys will now do uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. They'll final uh, pin. Pretty sure it should be a normal morale. They're both fine. I want to check what the dynamite dudes do. What do the dynamite dudes do? Gain turns are considered special troop trait, having no firepower but having a reasonable demo charge. They have an availability of TR 43. Check availability. They do. And then I guess like we'll use it as a throne DC. Which has was it a plus three? What's the throne DC again? Right, so it's a plus two. I don't think there's any. I don't think you get first turn like non assault move or anything. Yeah, I don't think there's anything uh, for that. Also, uh, so that I can. Remember, he's used a resolve attack on both locations. I remember. Um, so it's an 11 on the 30, which is a one morale check. Uh, they're both fine, sniper, no sniper. Uh, that is a uh, Berserk, since they can't battle harden anymore. The, um, is it just versus the thrower? The thrower's location. Both the target and thrower's locations. Okay, that was a bad idea, um, because that is a uh, plus three and a plus three so plus six so it's a 10 on, on 30 instead of 11 which is a two morale check morale check morale. <laughs> okay uh so half squad clone flipped uh these guys break that goes away that goes away These guys went berserk during the movement phase. They have eight movement factors, which means they get into the building. Huh. That's, um... Okay. Uh, this is... Going to end in the dumbest way possible. Defense fire phase. Um, I mean, we'll say that they shot while they were moving. It doesn't give anything. I'll just mark them as final. They can't see anybody. Everybody's broken anyways. Advanced fire phase. Uh, tripled halved. So six. Uh, six of three. Nope. Nothing. Uh, there won't be CC anyways. Is there any other advancing fire? No. Uh, routes. Uh, 
Hmm. A bit of a problem here. So, first and foremost, uh, one of these squads is going to route back there in order to get rallied by the Commissar. The other will not because it's carrying the MMG. These guys have to route, but they. I mean, they can. Actually. Uh, they can. S they cannot see these guys well, uh, but they can see them. So they can route here, but uh, interdiction. Do you need to be good order to interdict? Unbroken enemy unit capable of firing. Yeah, okay. So they can route, but they'll be interdicted. So uh, so we'll do squad first. Um, they're fine. Oh, God. Uh, This is six hexes, isn't it? So they have to continue. They get interdicted again, and now they're just dead. So these guys die. Then these guys go through the same thing. They're fine. They go through here. They're fine again. But then here, they're interdicted a third time. They're also fine. Does, do they not have a... Uh, I guess they're always 117s. So it's 2, 4... Uh, 5, 6, I guess. Actually, no. They have to go here. I don't know why I'm calculating that, all that other stuff. And the other guys died there, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I guess technically I could have routed through there. That's true. I don't know why I'm not thinking about that. I'm getting it's getting late at this point. I think is the uh, the real culprit. Oops. Yeah, I think that's the real culprit here. Uh, DM. I guess we'll just have it continue. Not that it really matters. These guys advance. These guys advance. GM on that guy. Uh, no CC. Turn six. The, the dumbest thing that this could possibly be, and it's going to be the case, is this is going to go down to CVP. It'll be like this... Um, yeah, this is going to go down to CVP somehow. Uh, okay. No weather change. Rallies. Might as well attempt a self-rally. Uh, broken half squad is not going to. A plus four. There's no way. Um, these guys will attempt to rally. Uh, nope. Actually, they retain DM. And this guy does rally. Uh, pins come off. And then, does he rally? Nope. Okay. Uh, prep fire. There's only four firepower there. Which is not useful. And I'm considering just pulling out entirely. And I don't want to count CBP right now because it seems like it'd be kind of a jerk move. Uh, yeah, I really don't... I think I need to... Just kind of abandon everything. Just huddle back up into here and not do anything. Uh, can anybody prep fire? Nothing worthwhile. Movement phase. Um... 
assault move, assault move, normal, into here. This guy will just route with them, potentially. Defensive fire phase. Uh, death stack. What is that? Plus two, nine on, what was it? 14? Normal? They're fine, but they are DM, which does mean they'll route away. Uh, I do have rate of fire, they'll shoot again. This time it's 8 on 10, which might actually still be a normal. It is. Uh, they're broken, so they won't have that value. So indeed, they. Uh, oops. They have spawn. I don't have rate. Um, six up one. Nope. Uh, Berserk's right there. It's a uh, four plus two. Nope. Uh, them there. Yeah. Didn't expect that one. Advanced fire phase. None. Routes. Uh, two, four, five, six. Uh, can they do that? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, they should be good. Actually, can they see down this? No, can... No, okay. So they're good there. These guys have to abandon the 2-4, or, uh, they'll just go there, even if it's overstacked. Advance phase, Commissar goes there, oops. No CC. Weather, no change. I have not been doing these at all. It doesn't matter at this point. It really doesn't matter. I mean, there's potential for it to smoke out or this, you know, that type idea, but that's about it, really. Nothing, uh, nothing else could possibly happen, so um, I don't really see it necessary to, to roll them. Uh, we'll try to self rally. Yeah, not worth it. Repair. No. Repair. No. Uh, rally. Makes it. Nothing else anywhere. Uh, tries to rally. Nope. Again, comes off. Prep fire, there's literally nothing to prep fire. Yeah, nothing to prep fire. Um, movements. Berserkers go first. So, two, four, and then they have to jump in. No, nobody can stop them. Um, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Five six. Guys, DM. Uh, what's this? One, two, three, four, five, six. No. One, two, three, bypass, five, six. Yeah. CX, one, two, three, bypass, four, five, six. Literally no other movement I would want to do. Uh, defensive fire, none. Advanced fire, uh, tripled halved, six up one. Uh, six on six, one MC. Uh, 
definitely not going to have eight morale, so they're dead. One MC, they're also dead. They are no longer berserk. Uh, whatever, I can leave that on there. Oops. Just mark those there. Um, uh, three up one? No. Uh, three up two? No. Still DM'd. Routes. The squad can't go anywhere, so they're automatically dead. Leaders left. Advances. There. Yeah, that's it. Um, CC ambush. We'll go with the uh, Italians. No. Uh, there's a minus one, plus one. Actually, probably plus two. So if there is an ambush, which means they can just withdraw, we'll take it. Um, yeah. Uh, weather, no change. Honestly, like, at this point, um, I think... I think this guy will die no matter what. There's not much of a point in me moving any of these guys out. These guys would retreat if these guys move up. This can watch this entire... I guess technically I am not retreating this guy. Didn't, didn't matter now, but... Um, what's, the, what's the range on this? Eight? Yeah, everybody could shoot too. Which would be flat. So this would be like what? Three, seven, yeah, it's back to 13. 13 flat, 9 on 13. If I took that shot as a normal, let's see, like, yeah, they're fine. Um, but yeah, this guy would die for sure. Like, he would just get hunted down. Having three, like, he can't, even if I, I guess if I'd moved here, he can, like, kind of be a jerk and go back this way. But there's just not enough. There's not really any space to go to. Um, or, like, to be effective, these guys would just uh, zone out this side. And then I could just split these three to, you know, a proper area. So it doesn't really, like, it wouldn't really do anything. And it's, you know, we'll just count them as dead. Um, we'll say, like, best odds, uh, one to four up one okay and the other guy would get him so we'll at least give him a squad now again the question is becomes how would like the scoring for this uh the way that the scenario is is if neither side has v1 and two buildings which uh in this case neither side only one side has v1 but only um, the Republicans only have X2. They don't have any of the three other buildings. Um, so in that event, um, also there's a typo in, in the thing, so you know it's well written. Uh, the side that earns the most CVP wins. CVP ties resulting in a Republican win. But I don't, I honestly don't think this could be uh, a win. Also, I didn't count, uh, this guy's recall, so I need to mark this. Because that will not count towards CVP. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Let's do CVP. CVP. Okay, so let's let's do math. <clears throat> we have two vehicles. Each every vehicle lost their crew, so there's nothing to to uh, nothing crazy to be done. Um, the only vehicle that lost his BMG was recalled, so it's worth no points. So the vehicle is worth one, just for being a vehicle. has a functional main armament, the BMG, so it's another another point. Um, it has an armor factor of one minimum. Even at zero, it's still worth one. So There's three points right there. Plus two for the crew. So automatically, it's ten points. Um... Turn one, they scored three CVP. Uh, turn two, 
They scored seven. So at 20. Then turn four, they scored four points. Turn five, they scored three points. And a final two with the you know, CC accounted for them. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, jeez. Uh, on the flip side, Italians, uh, turn two, scored six points. Turn three, they scored another four points. Scored one point in turn four. Or turn three, they scored four points. My bad. Turn five was when things started getting crazy. Um, one, two, three, four, six, eight, nine, uh, 11 points for 24. Right? Did I just somehow look at the wrong number? Um, 6, 10, 11, yeah, sorry, 22 should be the points, right? Um, I don't know how much dynamites are. I don't think there's a CVP value given to them. So we'll say 2 squad. So... By one CVP. If um, if this half squad had had broken essentially a second time, if uh, if I'd managed to reduce them a second time, that would have been it. If uh, if I hadn't, well, you know what? That's an interesting hypothesis. So here's the problem. I rolled a two, but can you promote out of the ranks? Can you lead a promotion if it's just a leader? I don't think so, because that doesn't, that, that wouldn't make any sense. I'm pretty sure it's a MMC only, which is kind of crazy, crazy to think about, because that would mean that had it been a, yeah, any time of MMC attacking. So had it been a multi-man counter that would have generated a leader, which would have been worth a point, and had they killed it, which they would have, because they would have been, uh, the role was less, it would have been a tie game. Regardless, the Republicans win, but the margin is a uh, lot slimmer than, than I would have had it specifically because of um stuff like turn five where they just really started to uh to clean house with uh several hexes now again i was starting to be really foolish with a lot of uh, a lot of actions that the republicans did but at a certain point like the italians really just didn't have um much in the way of firepower or manpower and i couldn't use these guys or else they would most likely break at the first uh sign of light so um yeah kind of crazy kind of a crazy scenario i don't i really don't feel like i enjoy it all that much um there's something about it maybe it's because i know that this is a copied scenario you know not again not stolen but because I know that it's from a different source, it, like if I go to my route report, I should have the original one. Italian Brothers. Italian Brothers is six turns. The original scenario is six turns. Uh, actually, it's a route report. Is Was that the first one? Dagger at the point. That was the other one. At the point one, was it? Or seven? I don't think they have a scenario in this one. At point seven? Okay, so yeah, so at the point seven is pretty much just a reprint. I could check to see here. Oh my god, yeah, this is way different. So uh, essentially, 
essentially we have uh, 18 attacking squads, which is uh, two more than what this gives, uh, what um, the Critical Head version has. Um, two DM MMGs instead of two HMGs, or one HMG and an MMG, sure. Uh, the leader's also uh, worse quality, 9-1 and 8-0-7-0, sure. Uh, and three tankettes instead of three tankettes and an armored car. The armored car is really stupid in this uh, circumstance as well. Because it doesn't have a radio, it needs to move in a platoon, which means it's then sacrificing any movement bonus that it would normally have. There's probably an intent on, like, you go up this road. Sure, I guess. Um, and that is one way I could have played it. Um, where, you know, there's there's definitely a um, an ability for the defender to psych themselves out. Kind of like I did. And focus entirely on the south and then just move to the building. Kind of seeding a lot of this territory. Sure, it's a possibility, but I don't really know if it's all that realistic regardless. Um, the sands are entirely different, which is interesting. The attacker gets a sand of 2 instead of 3. Defender has a sand of 4 instead of 2. Um, and the defenders have two less squads, which makes more sense, to be honest. Uh, they also get a 10-0 Commissar instead of a 9-0. They have a 9-1 Leader. Uh, they have two 9-1 Leaders and an 8-1 Leader. So all their, their Leaders are good. Uh, no Mortar. And far fewer LMGs. Uh, okay, it's actually, never mind. They have one warm MMG and two less L LMGs, and they get a mortar. Just kind of... I, I don't like the inclusion of the mortar, to be honest. I don't think this map really justifies it. And at a certain point, you just don't really use it. Um, what else? What else, what else, what else? Oh, you know what? I should see what the updated version is. Uh, MMP modules... This Doom Battalions. There you go. 137. Um, 137. Keeps the three uh, tankettes. 18 squads. Two DMM MMGs. Four LMGs. 918180. So uh, the 8 0 in the original um, scenario gets a buff. Everything else is the same. Three four sevens, three four sixes. No, that's yeah, that's still the same. Um, defenders, fourteen squads, two nine ones, an eight one, ten zero, four LMGs, three foxholes. Oh, also critical hit gave him an extra foxhole. That's for sure. Yeah. So the original, the, I I think I actually prefer. In the official quote unquote scenario because it keeps the six turns seven and a half is kind of crazy for this one um, oh also the vehicles start in motion on the map which is nice what else gear commissar affects other gear of all the units All orchards, all buildings are stone, ground level only, which makes a lot more sense for a building to be ground level only. Yeah, I think, um, yeah, I think basically. What, I, what I'm learning is that Italian Brothers is 
a faster, less complicated scenario because it doesn't involve third party shenanigans. Um, <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> the critical hit version essentially tries to like copy it too much. Interestingly, in the original scenario, this the nationalists win on a tie instead of the Republicans. Uh, also, the Republicans win instantly if they capture a specific building. The same thing is, is kept in the official version. Very interesting. Um, I think basically I'm going to... I think I'm going to have to earmark um, AP uh, 137. Or... Uh, not AP, just scenario uh, 137. It might be AP 137 or something else. A72. So I'm gonna I'm gonna be playing um, the official version, quote unquote. We'll see how that stacks up versus the Italian brothers. It'll be fresh in my mind, so uh, it should prove to be um, an eye-opening uh, experience. I think so. Uh, for everybody who has been following, as always, thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, feel free to, I mean, you know, I don't have to explain it. You want to leave comments, leave comments. You want to leave likes, blah, whatever. Uh, do your thing. Everybody who's watching these videos should know the YouTube rigmarole. Um, but if there's any questions or anything, um, please uh, feel free to drop me a line. Whether if it's on uh, Twitter, on YouTube, on Twitch, on Discord, etc. Um, it's always appreciated. Um, if anybody is looking forward to certain scenarios, let me know. I would love to see um, what is uh, tickling the fancy of viewers, whether it's um, the endings of critical hits, uh, I guess like expansion or, or viewpoint into Spanish Civil War, um, whether it's what uh, the Chinese versus Japanese stuff is going to look like. Um, or what kind of third-party um, uh, productions or publications they're most looking forward to. Um, so with all that said, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.